They start again. Butler, Ariza, Adebayo, Duncan Robinson, and Goran Dragic. We're underway. The third and final meeting between the Pacers and the Heat. They've averaged 114 points per game, but the defense has been another story. Here's a step back three from Brogdon. He continues his red-hot three-point shooting. Tough shot. Around at about 20. 324 feet and there was step back. That's a tough shot last nine games better than 50% from three and now Duncan Robinson matches Got less than 40% and had to win in overtime in the second game on a Sunday Robinson going again Yeah, they're setting a hard screen without a bio such a good shooter in Robinson. He can't get there He is their best three-point oh, shooter in the ball. He's in this paint yeah, I'm sorry, partner. And again, 34 years old now is Goran Dragic in the starting lineup. No Kendrick Nunn tonight as well. So they Good are... Move. That is a great move by Turner. Powers it in. Double on Levert. Yeah, what they're doing is trying to make the team that faces a passing team. I mean, that, that's really what it's about. Yeah, but we're, Pacers are going to be short one man in a fast break situation. That's that's And this is the result. Because the bonus went down. And it went down, they were going to be short a man. Gordon Dragic just feel like he can score. Yeah, he's already he's, scored seven Well, now. you can see yeah. when he gets, he's, he literally ran Duncan to the corner so he could be the one to come off the screen. So you got to know he's feeling good about his offense. Yeah, he's got Great nine. Five. Oh, yeah. What a pass. Still can switch all five positions. So look to see if they do that. Yeah, they're switching all of them. And now Turner is open for three and got it. Lavert guarding Butler. Lavert with the steal. And the Pacers come up Great with it. Great play. Great play. Now they double Brogdon. Good find. Really good find. Because what, what happens when McConnell is playing, thought he got pushed. The official didn't see that. You have a five on four. Sumner in the corner for three. Good advancement of the ball. Better than 40% in this stretch. He's Good. Oh, all of a sudden, Goga had to get out of the lane because he you could get a defensive three, and he came to the strong side. Dalla with his first basket. Now Goga catches. McDermott in the corner, hits another three. Tough shot. Challenge late by Hero. He is improving 13 of his last 27 from outside the three-point arc, Edmund Sumner. I did go back and look at the G League stats, Chris, because you asked Edmund the question. 34% in parts of three seasons as Gogo Bataze throws one down. Doing a good job, partner. Keep going. You're doing a good job. You're doing a great job. Bataze has to shoot it. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's really skilled offensively. Sure there was discussion yesterday at practice. I, yeah, I suspect that might have been. I would hope, hope so, and everybody felt that, but you miss the shooting of Doug McDermott once he got injured. Yeah, I, I agree. 50, 52 is exactly what he needed, right? Robinson hit a couple of threes to start and hits again. And they are attacking Turner, but turning back. McConnell now will shoot the three and hit the three. Hard work paying off. Rebounded by Holiday. You gotta have to attack. Yeah, he's not going to get him any other ways to attack but a full head of steam. Pacers had their starting lineup back out there. Justin Holiday has returned. And now Turner has made one three. Make it two. Good find by Levert. Sabonis against Achua. And he just bulls his way right to the basket. Defense has been good, too. Miami's just one Great. of 11 in the quarter. And they missed that. It's tipped in by Achua. It was real close to basket interference, too. I going to say, but he's been able to make a contribution without scoring, which is great. Robinson. He's hit four of them. Brogdon thought he could get by Butler. Butler blocked the shot. Hero hits the three in transition. Shot clock at two. Great the defense. Hands. Really good defense. And Sabonis finds Lavert, who puts it in. I'm telling you, Sabonis just made a heck of a play. You're right. To have that agility, and he leads the break again. 
Lavert gets inside and has the first two baskets of the half. Tough, that's a tough layup. Would you assume now that Eric Spolstra will continue to put the ball in Adebayo's hands to try to draw that fifth foul as Holiday hits a three? That's one of those, Chris. <laughs> Not and a really good anticipation there. And a get out by Sabonis. Indiana starts the third quarter on fire. Pacers have returned the favor 13 straight to start the third quarter. Uh, and the Pacers have just done a, such a good do job, I think, Chris, defensively more than anything else, and be able to get some easy look. Five on four is Miami. And you leave Dragic open in the corner for a three. Well, that's because Levert had to come up and get Robinson. It's just a mistake. His, show, his arm just slipped up. Ooh. And seven straight now. Get foul on Sabonis. Robinson. And Ariza. And it's nine straight out of the timeout by Miami. Levert. Lucky that got where it needed to go. Shot clock at three. Yes, sir. Brogdon beats he beat him. Butler and scores. Yeah, he beat him. I'm wondering if that ankle got sore because of the you know the halftime. And they just choose not to put it put him at risk. Butler banks it in. Tough shot. Butler closed out by Sabonis inside the arc. Oh, uh, nice defense. My goodness. Now they have a chance to tie or take the lead after the Pacers had a 15-point lead. He threw it right to Holland or to Levert. And Levert gets it to crawl in. Levert did a nice job anticipating. Pacers do a nice job of matching up. Gotta help. Gotta help. Yeah, you gotta help. Because he's gonna take. I mean, this is where you have to know your teammates. Butler again against Bataze. But, but they're doing the right, they basically zone. They go zone. Now you got to know that you got to get to the shooter. Sumner. Oh. Butler, the steal, leaves it off for Hero. The fourth quarter, Pacers have a two point lead with Quinn Buckner, Jeremiah Johnson, and Eddie Gill. I'm Chris Denary, and a jumper by McConnell. So defensively, you're going to have some challenges. But neither is Jimmy Butler, Chris. Five fouls for Turner. Back cut to Hero. Hero. Ah. Stop and go and got it. It sure was. It just made Goga stand straight up, straight up for those kids at home. You got to stay in a defensive stand. If you stand up, guys have the ability to go by you. McDermott for three. Oh, three. Contusion, which means the best thing they could do with that is just rub, you know, to try to rub it out. McConnell. Look at that. Two more. Harris Levert is up. Robinson to give Miami the lead. The fact that Miami's here, Jimmy Butler is not even on the floor. Hero goes inside, banks it up too strong, but Adebayo the follow. Lavert pounds it home. Great attack. Well, it, 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 I would argue that it did. He was going to travel, so he had to throw it that way. And just like that. Well. You get the, yeah, Miles Turner is going to get in the game. Follow the other way for Miami. Both teams shooting 42%. Ooh. And Robinson and the Heat have a five point lead. Last Pacers points, 6.49 to play. Adebayo in the lane, got it. And they have a seven point lead. As evidence, is neither one of these teams have broken ninth. No. Nope. This is. Uh, You'd see this game in the early 2000s. Lavert inside. He's got the last two Pacers baskets. They're able to keep Jimmy Butler off the floor and do some of that. All right, you got to get it in. Sabonis to Turner. They don't care about that. Hits the three with 1.7. Good news is if you can gain anything out of tonight is you still have the tiebreaker down the stretch if you are tied because the Pacers win the season series.